Uh, the Bucks, Packers, and Ravens got a few things in common. Yeah. A couple, should I say? They're all three and three and suffered embarrassing upset Sunday. Green Bay was blown out by 17 at home by the Jets. Bucks lost in Pittsburgh to Mitch Trubisky. Yeah. And the Ravens blew another lead against the G-Men after a late Lamar turnover. Two of them, I think. Yeah. yeah. Of Green Bay, Tampa, and Baltimore, whose red flags are the biggest to you? All right. I'm going to go smallest to biggest. Okay. The smallest is Baltimore. I still think they're a playoff team. And Lamar will rebound. But there's now two games in the last three weeks that Lamar has had brutal turnovers late in the game that helped them blow leads, helped cost them games. And in fact, uh, so I'm going to give you a stat that I read on Twitter. I want to give credit to whoever came up with it. So Lamar, when he took over the Ravens, here it is. This is Bill Barnwell. From the moment he took over to the, the Ravens until the start of this year, the Ravens, when they had a 10-plus point lead in the second half, they were 31-2. and 31-2 and two if they were up at any point in the second half by double digits. This year, the Ravens, with a double-digit lead in the second half, 2-3. and three. So that's a problem. But the reason that it's the smallest red flag is, what does that also mean? All three of their losses... They have been up 10 in the second half. So they're good enough, even against really good teams or good teams, to get up big. They just have to figure out how to close these games. Lamar's got to be more careful with the ball. The second biggest red flag is Tampa, but it's a pretty significant one. Brady had a weird week, man. He left the team to go to Bob Kraft's wedding. He misses the walkthrough. Losing to the Steelers is horrifying. Shout out to my TV co-host Kevin Wilds for calling it. I, I, I didn't see how it was possible. I, you know, lo- we had your mom's birthday party and costume party Friday, Saturday night. All right. So I woke up too late to put in any extra bets in on these games, like my u- usual morning teaser. So luckily, but luckily, because I <laughs> definitely would have had Tampa in every teaser imaginable, teasing them down to two and a half. They were eight and a half point favorites. They might have actually gone off at ten. I mean, survivor pools this this week was absolute a bl- a bloodbath because of these games we're talking about here. This, the giant survivor pool I'm in that started the year with 21,000 entrants as of this morning 200. is down to 270. I have two two entries left for yesterday. By the way, in that survivor pool, yesterday was a double pick week, so you had to pick two teams. Right. And so, and by the way, I have two entries left, but one one of them has as one of my picks, the Chargers. So it's not even all the way through yet. They got to win tonight. Tampa's loss, though, was really, really bad, unforgivable. And for the defense to not be able to get Mitch Trubisky off the field after Kenny Pickett goes out with an injury, Tampa goes down and scores down eight, misses the two-point conversion, and then has Mitch in some third and longs, and Mitch converts them. So (laughs) Tampa's offense doesn't look good. Brady looks like he doesn't want to get hit, and their defense didn't come through in the didn't biggest spot. Steelers. Okay? So they're, they're a significant red flag. What they have going for them is that division. The Panthers might be the worst team in football, and then you've got, you have Atlanta, and then who's the other team in that? Oh, the Saints. The Saints stink. The Sa- So the Panthers might be the worst team in football. The Saints stink. Atlanta's frisky. Atlanta's now 6-0 and against the spread, by the way. Unbelievable. Against the spread. But 3-3 but three and three overall. Same record as Tampa. Yeah. I think Tampa's going to be fine. And that's our time. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts or just click the link in the description below.